<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the type of drive bow. And it's quite a Oh, Jesus. Good evening, people. Right. Um, this is a, what's it called? Well, you weren't going to do it, but you do. Impromptu. Impromptu. I was going to say simultaneous. I don't know what I've got that from. <laughs> Oops. Right. Um, so what it was, I've just been tapping the bar, tidying up. I've done some cooking and that today. And I've conned you a bit, as you'll see from the thumbnail. Because it's about two kegs. I can't be bothered to do a picture. Which will follow. Obviously, as we all know now, this is the new... Uh perfect draft keg and it's just something I was reading actually when I was sat here from someone who's yeah you might as well pour that yeah let's get this pulled in I was just sat there having a quiet beverage like one does I'm gonna go on that that's not going anywhere near it yeah no I wouldn't <laughs> and then um I was just reading something I was thinking back to the bottle we've done obviously us and Baza both done the bottle uh recently of this as has been shared and I, think, and I was drinking this and I keep thinking and there's been a few mixed things from people that have had it as well I hadn't had it if I'm honest until I went to France on that trip and got the bottle obviously this is me oh god see I've had it I've filled it so there mm. it's like that but I um yeah there was a few things that I've had from Joff wasn't it yeah, it was. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure things don't knock you over. Oh, reading That's too. Right. <laughs> and um, it was Joff making me think, wasn't it? Yeah, basically, we want to compare this. Um, Have you got your phone? New left? No, I haven't. Why? <laughs> Did you want me to bring it? Ooh. I just so prepare me, but there we go. We're a little bit unprepared. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, what it was, there's a few things that um, Josh said that um, I do like, uh, I listen to Josh, he's a man who knows his stuff, isn't he? A lot more than what we do, yeah. he really is very his, knowledgeable his, when it comes to With his to beer being. and everything, and um, he, he proper knows his, his stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. And there was... Um, uh right um it's, he's saying it's been a while i don't normally relate to what people say but this man is different isn't it yeah to what else he really knows his stuff it's been quite a long time since he's had it in a bottle he's basically saying and he's saying it's more complex than hogarton with a bit more body and the left twang yeah we said that we picked up on the left twang obviously towards the end and a bit more body which yeah look at yeah, it it's a little bit darker actually in color so yeah well, i mean Bazo just um, reviewed it and described it as dishwasher water didn't he but did like it mm. um he said he got hints of citrus lemon zest coriander which we said which someone else didn't as well the slight floral elderflower note on the initial taste which i wasn't sure about it's yeah well, I, I think i picked up on something a little bit floral and it could well be elderflower with wheat malt backbone and the usual banana now we d i don't think we got the banana did we and then again he says the left hang on the fish mm. and obviously the clove we got the clove but we weren't getting banana were we not that i can remember from the first try of this um i was picking up those hints of citrus um the wheaty malt background yeah it's got those things it definitely has something a little bit floral for me um bloody duck <laughs> I give up. I'm trying to keep him out, but I can't shut the door. So he doesn't look the camera over. Right. So we're going to look at these and have a look and see what the similarities are or aren't. Um, yeah, and also. Yeah. 
judging see, on obviously what Joff said. See what we can pick up on in, in that respect as well. Joff's kind of done it, been there and got the t shirt. Yeah, I really did value his opinion. He, he's very knowledgeable. Yeah, he's um, well, he's one of our subscribers. Well, hopefully, one of our subscribers. I don't, know, I don't know about that, but he's one of our admins on one of the um, PD groups because of his vast amount of knowledge. Mm. You know, I think he's probably got more knowledge in one of his fingers than most of us have. Full stop. And he has a lovely way of articulating it in his comments and things, so we really do appreciate that. So, yeah, it's only as I say that I was reading this and I was sat in here and I was, I was just messaged Michelle inside and I said, I've got to go on this again. And we worked, this is something that we were going to do obviously later on in the week, not obviously today, wasn't it? Mm. After the keg, we were going to do the bottle versus Hogan because some people had said there's similarities. Um, we didn't really think that much, did it? Barring they're both we, kind of whip beers. We hadn't tried them side by side, um, but having tried the bottle initially, I didn't. I think there was um, they're similar in style, but they have their own unique flavours to them, which makes them different enough in my respect for me to say that I don't think they're alike. I might be proven wrong trying them side by side. Yeah, definitely ends on the left twain, which we said in the last one. And Josh said, but are you getting that banana? It is there. It is there, but it's not. Obviously, I've only got 25 mil because I've only got two bottles left. So, and which obviously I want to do versus the keg keg at some point. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up on them herbal notes. There's clove, coriander in there. There is definitely some which is citrus. What we've both said, which um, is what Jeff, Jeff said. But there was so, there's another couple of people that are saying that you're not getting your, your, your herbs when it's quite clearly. Yeah, well, I I can pick that up, and I'm also picking up that floralness to it as well. It's more subtle on the taste buds than what it is in the aroma, but it's definitely there. And I think maybe there is a slight bit of banana in there. Yet again, that's quite a subtle note as well for me. Yeah, it's not quite full on the banana, but you've got the zestiness, and it and it is a halfway decent bit. I mean, I, I scored it, I think I said a good seven or so, didn't I? For me, it's still not a hogan. Is it more complex? Yeah, as it Joff is. Said, you see, Michelle's a great job, so I'm quite a, quite a die-old hogan fan, if I'm honest, like I am Frankie. Um, it would take a lot for something. No, I mean to say. See, that the mouthful feels a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. Um, the flavours in both of them are quite subtle and working well together. But for me, this just feels a little bit thicker on the mouthfeel than the Hogan. But it's five point seven, so it's going to be more. Yeah, and that probably body. does come from having that higher alcohol percentage. Well, not necessarily. It doesn't always work like that. Mm. But it's, is it more complex? Michelle's saying it is. Yeah. I'm, yeah, it is. I'm going the other way on it. I think the home garden is a more, for me, that's a better all rounder than that. I mean, remember, I'm much more of a fan of Hogarth than Michelle is. I mean, I would look forward to this on keg, yeah. Mm. So that if you wanted to, you could have Frankie Royal, Frankie. Ho and left Ronge for on draft for wheat beers. Yeah, um, would be amazing. Um, yeah, it does have the malt, uh, the wheat meat, wheat, wheat malt backbone, as he's rightly, rightly pointed out, and the slight go. And obviously, you do have that left twang on the finish, which I was saying to someone. If you're really against left drinks, you're probably not going to like that. Is we were talking about this, weren't we, in the live the other night. There are certain things that certain breweries do that yeah. give them a distinct signature. Um, you don't always know what it is exactly that they're doing, the certain type of ingredient that they always use. But sometimes there's a kind of signature taste to a certain brewery's drinks. And Left definitely does have that. Mm. Yeah, it's... It's see, now I'm feeling guilty. Now I'm starting to think, that's quite nice, you know. Mm. But I did think it was nice in the first place. It wasn't that. I just think, you know, obviously I'll, when it comes out, I'll get more than one keg, so I can definitely give it a good go. I'll also try the keg of that against the keg of that. But for me, it, they're not. it's not necessarily, if you like Hogarth and you're going to like Left Blanche, 
that's not like that. They are a similar style. They're a similar style, obviously. You, but are, you, very are, different. you are getting a similar style of drink, but I would say that the flavours in this are a little bit more complex. They are a little bit more um, defined. You can taste them a lot stronger than what you can with her garden. Her garden is more easy going, more relaxed, um, not quite so deep. A little bit, maybe even more refreshing, I suppose, on a hot day. You might find that. Well, yeah, I think a 4.9 on a hot, hot day, not that you get it here much, you would think summer's been a gone. I mean, isn't it, man? Look, it's to look over like there, that. <laughs> look, it's Hogarth on and left underneath mm -hmm. it. Yeah, for me, what I'm finding is the, is the real difference with this. The herbal notes, the floral notes are quite a bit stronger in this. There is a slight bitterness at the end that's coming through, and I think that's down to it. those herbal notes being that little bit stronger than what that's they are in the Hogarth. As long as you're not peeing on anything, well, I don't know I'm not what bothered. He's, he's trying to take the whole thing out. So yeah, um, yeah, good medium body. I can agree with that. Yeah. And it is a great addition for wheat beer drinkers. Of I think, course. I think if you enjoy this style, you're going to get on with this drink. The flavours that are in there really are good examples of the kind of flavours you would expect in this drink. They work well together. They're nicely balanced off. Um, yeah, I, I stick with my original score, which I believe was an eight. Yeah, so far. So, far. so yeah, but I'm, we have I'm the cake to come. <laughs> so let's just see. Um, I say I don't. All I'm saying to people from the, from this video is, if you like that, don't presume you automatically like that, and vice versa. If you don't like that, don't think that you won't like that, because there is not, in my opinion, a lot of similarities. Fine. They're both kind of whip beers, which, you know, if you look at Frankie Royal and Hogarth, I mean, they're nothing like each other. So, Paul Anna mm. and Hogarth and Paul Anna and Left Blanc, you know, the list is endless. They're very different in their own right, a lot more different than what we thought. Yeah, yeah, I would go along with that. But each has their own merits and they're both very good drinks. Yeah, so, right. This quick video wasn't so quick, so <laughs> better say bonjour. Left the dog's gone now, that's typical. Right. Thanks for watching. Bonjour. Thanks for watching.